I'm Josh Croner. I'm the chef here at Terrapin Restaurant in Rhinebeck, New York. Well, I came up to the uh, upstate region nine years ago. I just wanted to make good food, and that was my, my really clear goal at that point. I started to really understand the Hudson Valley, and I didn't know much about local products and you know the sustainable agriculture at that point, but it started to just tie into what I wanted to do. You know, I wanted good food, and I started learning more about what good food was. And it's not just food that tastes good, but it's food that's good from inside. I started making contacts with farmers as I went, and you know, as I became more successful, I was doing more business. So I really started to become in touch with the fact, you know, of where the food comes from, right out of the dirt. And I think that's really what had created such excitement for me and working with farmers is being able to see it myself. I ended up expanding my business greatly by coming to Rhinebeck. So now my challenges have changed. In a sense, I'm bringing this concept of local, organic, healthful food to you know, a much bigger market and a bigger audience. So how do we do this and you know, still remain profitable on this scale? It, it's been the biggest challenge for me as, as a businessman, you know, not only as a chef. Anything that you eat, you know, it's going into your body and the ingredients themselves are very important. This is really the challenge for me now and this is really what I'm, I'm trying to develop here. The Rhinebeck Farmer's Market is terrific. It's right here, I mean, two blocks from the restaurant. Getting to go through and, you know, speak to all the farmers and, you know, see what they're doing. Having local products and the whole sustainable agriculture movement is a lot about community. We did a um, a meeting of farmers. It was organized by the Valley Table in Slow Foods. This was something we did last spring, and they're doing this every year, where they try to get farmers together with chefs. And it's always tougher to get the chefs than the farmers because the farmers obviously want to meet the chefs because they want to source their products. You know, they have a business interest. The chefs, it's just hard to like wean chefs away from the call up your produce guy at 11 o'clock at night and place your order because it's it's just easier. We got everybody together in this room. There was about maybe 60 farmers and 25 chefs. And we had an open discussion. We had a mic and we, we talked about, you know, what are the problems that prevent farmers from getting their product to the local restaurants. And by putting everybody together and, you know, building that sense of community to say, hey, you know, we're all in this together. We're all Hudson Valley merchants that you know, want to work together. You're also building a community relationship, you know, something that's important for the, for the local area. After nine years, I've come to know a lot of different farmers. I love the farmer that comes to my back door and just says, this is what I got. Then there's also farmers like Chris Regan from Sky Farm. Chris and I have had a great relationship for six years. It's just wonderful product that comes from Chris. Arugula, I mean, he has a bunch of different lettuce mixes. Every year, you know, Chris comes in the door for the first time and I want to give him a hug. It's the first sign of spring. It's, it's a great time because at that point, you know, I'm starting to get local product. You know, once, once Chris comes with his product, you know, then, then good things are to come for sure. Winter seasonality, I mean, that's a tough one. There's only so much root vegetable stews you can push before, you know, people turn their heads. It's tough because you don't expect people to eat just potatoes all winter long. Obviously, you're going to have to get your greens from somewhere else besides here. And there are growing amounts of greenhouses that can produce vegetables, but it has its limitations. We're not going to have thousands and thousands of acres of greenhouses producing a full spectrum of vegetables in the middle of January in the Hudson Valley and it's not going to happen. So we're going to have to develop some sort of system to get, you know, good quality organic food products up here. But it's interesting and it brings up that point, you know, now that we have this global system, I'll use products from all over the world. Just have to be careful about what you're using because, you know, we're, I'm talking to you a lot about local stuff and I really do champion that stuff in terms of what I prefer to use. But when we're talking about being realistic and what I actually use in addition, you know, there are lots of products and that's a big concern as well. It's tough for me because as a chef I'm looking at organic product and you know I have to make a choice between that and non-organic product in the winter and a lot of times I end up going with the non-organic stuff because it's a much better product. So I mean there's a balance. Seasonality is important for me. I change my menus every season. Spring menu, summer menu, fall menu, winter menu, and each menu highlights 
what's available in the season, but at the same time, each menu is going to include things from outside of the area. Long hours, hot kitchen, poor pay, why do you want to do it? And the reason is, you can see immediate satisfaction from your work. You can look out and you can see somebody eating your food and you can see, hey look, I've made that person happy. And that's always been the driving force behind what I do. You know, making people happy, being able to see that effect of what my food has on people. And watching people leave happy and, oh, that was great. You know, that, that's still one of my greatest pleasures here, is to be able to see that. My role is to give you good food.